Hello my friends, I'm back today to show you how I created this pastel portrait print. It's a lovely print that you can use to customize your favorite photo uh, to give away as a personal gift um, to your friends, family, or to um, sell as a customized digital uh, print. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so here is the print that I created. All right, so what I'm gonna do now at this point is I'm just gonna add a new page and I'm gonna start from scratch. And um, I'm gonna search in here for mother holding a child and I'm gonna use this one right here, this image here. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna use the old editor and um, you get to the old editor by going into edit photo. So if you select your photo, you get, go to edit photo, you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see this message, prefer the old photo editor, and I'm gonna click on that. And then it's gonna ask you, take me to the old editor. I'm gonna say yes. And when I click on the edit image, I'm getting a different type of um, dashboard. So I'm gonna scroll down to a feature called paint and here it is okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use this um, uh, either Wendell or maybe I'll use uh, Retrato here okay so the old editor is kind of finicky um, it will take a little bit of time to actually uh, finalize the design for you but just be patient and uh, you'll get to where you need to be now um, these pretty much do the same thing um, some of these may be more pixelated than others um, so it's kind of trial and error and what you'll find is that it applies the colors that you see so I picked like a um, brownish rustic effect um, this one here is more like a greeny, uh, this is more like a purpley, this is more very, very um, diffused, a diffused, a purple and bluish. Um, but, you know, uh, try a couple of them and see which one you like the best. Now, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to customize a little bit. I'm going to bring down the intensity um, a little bit and I'll just leave it like that. Uh, and I'm gonna select apply. And what I'm gonna do now is I am going to remove the background. So I'm gonna go back uh, up here and here's the background remover. I'm just going to remove that background. Okay, there we go. Um, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I am going to just make it a little bit larger and I'm going to bring this down a little bit and um, I, I'll leave it like that for now. Um, and what I'll do now is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to search for some pastel water color and you're going to get a whole bunch of different graphics. So basically you're just picking um, ones that will go with your design. So if you want um, pink, and I'm going to use that one and just uh, turn it like that, like, th and basically like that. Okay, now I'm going to go to position and I'm just going to push them in behind like that. And um, what I'll do now is I'm going to, I guess, search for a background that's going to go with all of this. So um, maybe uh, let me put that in the back like that. Okay. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, find some kind of a shadow to, to diffuse um, or kind of blend it blend the bottom in 
with the rest of the uh, photo. So I'll look for a green um, shadow. And, uh, maybe this one will do. So I'm going to see if this one is going to work. So I'm just going to uh, put that there. Uh, and maybe what I we can do is we can just layer a couple of them together just to bring down that harshness uh, between the um, bottom there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for some clouds. And okay, maybe we can use this one. And um, I mean, you can use a whole bunch of different um, variations. And you can rotate them. Um, and I guess once you've found ones that work, you can just um, duplicate them and rotate them to um, fit your design. Um, now, okay, so there is that. Um, now what we can do is we can also just move those to the back if you like, or you can leave it like that. So um, now if you want to co cover that green, you can also just uh, make a copy of a cloud and you can just bring that in like that. And um, then you can just add some text um, and anything else you like. And if you want, again, if you want to bring, if you don't want to see that the clouds in on top of the image, you can always push it in behind the image. And you can do that by just going to position and then you can just move that behind the image if you prefer. But I actually think it looks nice on top on this one. It kind of brings a little bit of softness there. Now, if you want, you can also add some other type of an effect on top of this, like some gold um, splatter. So I'm just going to search for some gold um, splatter and let's see what we find in here. Um, this looks kind of pretty here. So let's see what happens if I bring that in here like that. Well, that looks kind of pretty and then what we can do is we can make a copy of that and maybe we can flip it like that and bring it like that I mean it's obviously to a personal preference you either like it you're either gonna like that or you're not um, but that's the beauty of Canva so now, some other options that you might have are to add some grunge uh, borders. So if you come in here and you search for grunge border um, and you go into graphics, you'll find lots of neat stuff. So, you know, you can add um, something like that um, if you wanted to. Um, there also you can add something like that instead of adding the pastels. Uh, and then you can bring the image of the mother and child in front uh, of that. Let me show you how that will look, okay? Let's get rid of this gold. And um, let's uh, bring the mother and child uh, right up to the front. And let's grab this again and put that here. And I mean, if it's in front, so yeah. So you, you, you may have to bring the mother and child in front again. So let's grab her and the child and bring it in front. 
and then you can add um, you can flip it make a copy and flip it and bring it down another copy down here um, the other option um, is to use grunge uh, borders so something like this is really really neat let me show you how this is gonna look so we can change that color um, we can change it to white uh, and we can kind of just um, put that all the way around the photo if we wanted to and let me flip that like that and let's bring it back in okay so that's what that would look like that grunge um, border and you can the beauty of this grunge border is you can actually change the color so we can actually match her shirt let's see if it'll allow us to match her shirt like the colors aren't coming up here so um, but what we can do is we can come in here we can get the eyedropper and we can try and match it like that um, and so and then that so that's what that would look like I'm not sure if you like that or not um, but there's you can always go back to the white I think that looks um, the best if you want to try this effect. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be the first to be notified when new content comes out. For now, I will say bye-bye my friends. Until next time.